Hello there. Hi guys, how are you doing? How's everybody today? All good? Yes. Can you hear me guys? Is everything, is my audio working? Yes, it's working. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you? How are you, Marcela, Yvonne, our backup <laughs> teacher? How are you doing? <laughs> I think pretty good. You think you're doing pretty good? All right. Mm -hmm. I like that answer, okay? I, I, I don't say I'm fine, right? It's just, all right. Very good, okay? Miriam, okay, I see you're on TV, Miriam. How's everything? Um, how's everything down in the broadcast, in the, the broadcast station? I am a famous, famous, famous actress. You're a famous actress. Okay, that's great. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what what famous actress are you? Uh, Miriam Cabezas. Miriam. Okay, great. Okay, well, you're not imitating anybody else, right? So that's great. Very good. Delmi, how are you, Delmi? How was how was work today? <clears throat> Good evening, uh, I great. Great, great, great. great. All right, all right. Um, I actually, guys, um, I mean, I, I I will deliver the best energy I got, guys, but I don't know if you noticed, my eyes are kind of like uh, very tired um, because yesterday, guys, I, I actually ended up drinking <clears throat> one liter. So, so this is what happened, okay? So at night, you know, I I really like <laughs> Coca-Cola Zero, you know, I mean, I like the regular Coca-Cola, but I think that's more uh, because of the sugar, you know, I try not to drink it, right? But, and and I don't like, you know, I, I know Coca-Cola Zero is, is, is also not good. So, but I, I, just, I just felt like drinking Coke yesterday. So, so I, I didn't mind, right? So I ended up drinking one little, uh, I mean, one liter of Coca-Cola yesterday. So one liter guys, okay. Um, and Only I put it, yes, and I was not able to fall asleep at all. I ended <laughs> up, I ended up going to bed until, um, 5.30 a.m. And I had to wake up at 7 a.m., you know, so I, I slept for, I slept for one hour and a half only. Did you didn't sleep? No, I, I I didn't sleep so so that that's like like my eyes right now you know they're like yeah, the time, right they're not all right so no. how old take a vacation take a vacation uh, no problem uh, how do you say ojeras teacher eye bags ojeras eye bags you have two eye bags <laughs> yeah yeah I I mean I I like I'm natural by the way I'm natural like that you know like I've always had eye bags. I don't, I don't consider eye bags to look bad, you know? <laughs> I honestly, guys, no considero que las ojeras se, se vean malas en una persona. I don't know. Maybe because <laughs> I, have my, I, have, I have them myself. <laughs> I've always had them. Siempre, la, siempre he tenido ojeras. O sea, no duerma, yo siempre tengo ojeras. All right? But, um, but I, don't, I don't see them as something bad, you know? Right? You, I look, think it's... you look very tired and, and boring, too. Boring. <laughs> You mean bored and not boring. Boring is like, guys, when you say that's a, well, that's one thing, guys. We're gonna we're gonna learn get to learn that too. <clears throat> when you say you are boring, it means that I am boring to you. Okay, I'm boring for you. Okay. When you say David, you are boring, it means that David, vos sos aburrido. Hey. All right. O sea, yo te aburro vos. Uh, no, no, no. All right. So you have to say you look bored. Bored. Okay. okay? Or you this, you are okay. That that I feel like that. Okay, all right. No, no, I'm not. I'm not bored. Um, I I'm okay. tired. Okay. So you tired. say all right. Tired. Yeah. Tired. You are. You look yeah. tired. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree, you guys. Look tired. I, I agree that I look tired, but but I'm good, guys. Okay. All right. It's all about attitude and and positive. You know your your positive mind, right? <laughs> yes, yes, all right, guys. Yes, yes. Anyways, um. So guys, I have I have uh, I have I have some news for you too. All right, I have no idea what this knife is doing here. Butter knife. Um. Anyways, okay. 
uh, what was I going to say? Yes, uh, guys, we're we're going to have a class, um, and the class will end. Well, the curse will end on Monday next week. Okay. All right. I repeat, guys. So vamos a tener clases, guys, desde bueno hasta el jueves esa semana, y después vamos a tener una clase final el día lunes. Okay. Con eso se cumplirían las 16, eh, las 16 clases. Got it? So, uh, so lunes va a ser nuestro día final. Aquí. Um, I mean, I might see you guys, to be honest, you know, because usually that's that's what happens. Like, you advance, to the, you advance to the next level, and then, you know, you request to have the same uh, instructor, right? Uh, Solicitan tener el mismo instructor. Like, depend, like, you get a survey, creo que le mandan una survey, and nunca le aviso realmente. Que por cierto, cuando se la mande, mi nombre es David Navas, don't, do not forget that, okay, no le van a dar ahí. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, el más score, alguien más. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one scores, right? Navas, okay. Scores. All right. Baby, um, baby. Tell me. I have a question for you. Tell uh, me. Okay. Do you love, love us? <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if I didn't, okay, incluso si, si no los quisiera, diría que sí, right? Tendría que decir que sí. <laughs> so you cannot ask that, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Very honestly. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. 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 I haven't said that, ever. This is our David. No, it's only David. David in the, in the, in your, Oh, your... No, guys, I mean, no, um, no, I mean, of course, guys, I get along with you guys. You make me laugh and I make you laugh, I think, sometimes, right? So, of course, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with you, you know, I I, um, I feel, you know, I really want to have you back again, you know, I really want to see you again, right? So, obviously, guys, okay? Right? <laughs> okay. Obvious, como dice la, la, como es Obviously, obviously. No, obvious, obvious, como dice la, la chavisa, baby. Right? You love, you love us. Of course, of course I do, okay. Anyways, okay, all right. <clears throat> so, all right, so class, guys, okay, so class ends on, on Monday next week. Um, and guys, I, I need you guys. I don't know if these people are here, guys, but I received a message today, and this is something I want to talk to you about. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, um... Hold on. Mm. All right. So it says here, okay, so, I well, I, Gabriela Beatriz, do we have a Gabriela Beatriz here? No, right. So. No, teacher, teacher. I am Gabriela Garcia Saray, teacher, teacher. All right, very good. We're missing a lot of people today, by the way. I don't know what happened. Anyways, guys, so, um, so I need you guys, it says here that participantes con plataforma iniciada, pero con retraso, okay? This is what they send me, guys, okay? If you have moved on from this point, you know, and completed the whole platform today, <clears throat> disregard this, okay? Disregard this message, okay? But it says here, Hazel Claribel. I've never seen a Hazel, guys. Uh, Ana Rebeca. We, we do have an Ana Rebeca. I don't know if she's here today. Jessalyn Vanessa, all right? And uh, Oscar Antonio, do we have an Oscar? Yeah, we do have an Oscar, but I don't think he's here, okay? So anyways, guys, okay, um, everybody else is up to date with the platform. You can finish it, guys. I, this, this is what I wanted to bring up, okay? You can finish, you can complete the platform this week, okay? No problem, guys. You can, um, you can finish the exercises. You can finish everything. I want you guys, <clears throat> okay? So I want you guys that I want you to finish everything, okay? Necesito que terminen todo, guys, aunque saquen mala nota ahorita y todo, right? I will help you guys at the end of the day, okay? Yo le voy a ayudar al final del día, guys, al final. And I'm talking about this week, okay? Esta semana, guys, o si no el lunes, yo le voy a ayudar. Eh, vamos a ir uh, por los topics de todos los, uh, los the sections from the platform. And um, if you have questions, you know, if, if there are exercises that you have not finished, we're going to solve them together, okay? See, I parte de, de las secciones, guys, que ustedes tuvieron problemas y no, 
pudieron terminar de responder. Yo con todo gusto les ayudo en la clase. ¿Got it? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, right? All right, guys. So, guys. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm sorry, what did you say? All right, I, I, I missed you there. Okay, guys, so uh, we're going to continue talking about present perfect, guys. All right. So, guys, what was the, what were the uses of present perfect? What are we using for? I mean, what are we using for? What do you think? For the uh, for action that began in the in the past and continue in the future. Okay. Or in the present. All right, very good, guys. So actions, actions yeah, that sure. in the past no and continue in the present. Okay. What else? What else? What else are we use it for? Um, use it may... definitely. To time. Uh, finish temporary. So for what? I'm sorry. Unfinished temporary. temporary. Okay, for for unfinished and temporary actions. Okay. All right. Oh my god, I know what's going on with my throat, guys. I'm so sorry. All right. Very good, guys. So, guys, if you participate a lot today, all right, today, guys, okay. We might play a game in present perfect, okay? All right, I have a very cool game for you. Sounds good? All right, okay, guys. So anyways, so let's um, let's get started, guys. All right. So yeah, we were talking about, you know, using present perfect when we talk about unfinished, unfinished or temporary uh, or a temporary period of time, yes? Okay, so so yesterday, guys, we were seeing this, right? Uh, we took a look at uh, the structure, right? And this is the first usage that we talked about, right? Actions that begin in the past and continue in the present, right? So she has worked in the bank for five years, okay? So today, all right, so today we're going to, let's talk about, all right, let's talk about the other, the other usages, right? So we also talked about, you know, using present perfect for an unfinished or temporary period of time, all right? Or repeated actions of a period of time between the present and the past, okay? All right? So <clears throat> these are the other two uses, okay? Now, guys, the last use, guys, is when timing is not relevant or it, or it is unknown, okay? So here, guys, if I don't care about the time itself, for example, uh, Gabriela, help me read this. Okay, when uh, someone has um, eaten my soup. All right, so someone has eaten my soup, okay? Do I care about the time, guys? Do I know when this person, you know, ate my soup, yes or no? No. No, right? And, and, and also, guys, this is a lie, okay? Nobody is going to eat your soup, okay? They're going to eat your pizza, your hamburger, your hot dog. Not a soup, guys. <laughs> We're not healthy people, right? Drink. All right, very good. So anyways, okay. Um, all right, so what else can we say, guys? Okay, what, else, what other expression can we have when we don't care about, you know, the, the timing? All right? Can I say... Um, I have done my homework. Can I, now, guys, if I say I have done my homework, is this an experience? Is this a repeated action? Or is this something that has an effect in the present? Or is this, you know, the usage when we do not care about the timing? What do you think? I say, guys, I, I have done my homework, okay? The timing. Repeat action. The, the, the timing is not. Okay, so, guys, okay, the timing here is not relevant, right? So, I have done my homework, but I don't know, guys, when did I finish my homework? Am I telling you when I finished 
my homework? <clears throat> yes or no? No. No, mm -hmm. right? But it was in the past, okay? All right, very good. Uh, do my favor, guys. Everybody send me three examples, okay? Send me three examples in present perfect. Now, I don't want you to use I, guys. You're not going to use the, the pronoun I, okay? Use Cheyenne, Dua Lipa. I don't know the name of your toxic or toxica, right? But give me, guys, okay? Three sentences. When timing is not relevant in present perfect, okay? Let's go, guys. Send it to the chat. And we're gonna um, we're gonna see we're gonna check on the errors here, okay? Remember, if if you know you do not make mis too many mistakes, okay? We're gonna play a game. All right. All right, so um, okay, so I got the first one here. Continue, guys. Everybody need you, you everybody. Okay, you need to send me, guys, an example. If I don't have, how many are we today? We are twenty-one people. I need twenty-one examples times three, guys. Twenty-one times three. That's what thirty six. Is it? No, uh, that's 20, 40, 60. So I need 63 examples, right? Okay, so I need to see, guys, 63 examples here, okay? So you, each of you are going to send me three, right? So uh, let's see. Let's analyze the first the first one that we have here. He has had some same, uh, same girlfriend. All right, guys, so let's analyze this sentence, okay, coming from Caesar. So is this sentence correct or incorrect, guys? He has had a same girlfriend since the last year, since last year. What do you think? Está bien o mal, guys? What, what do you think? Um, they, they, uh, he say the time. Mm, I don't know. In okay, in so here example, okay. don't teaming is not relevant. Okay, guys, okay. Now we can say since last year, right? But here, guys, okay, I want you to give me examples, guys, when timing is not relevant, okay? So because of this, this is wrong, but there's another mistake here, guys, which is not related to present perfect. It's related to grammar itself, okay? He has had a same girlfriend, okay. Not ah, this is the same girlfriend since last year. Okay. Now, if if you have the sentence like this, he has had he has had the same girlfriend since last year. This is correct, guys. However, it would be incorrect because I do not want you to give me an expression of time. Yeah. I want you to understand, guys, that we can use present perfect without an expression of time. Okay. <clears throat> so that is the exercise. So good job. These are two minor mistakes there. Uh, Marcel Yvonne, my mother has seen the news. All right. Correct. Good job, Marcela. Gabby, Samuel has gone to the cinema. Okay, good job. Do I know when? All right, let's take a look at this sentence, guys, okay? Do I know, guys, when Samuel went to the cinema? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? Do I know when Samuel went to the cinema? No, we don't know. No, okay, right. So this is great. This is, that, that was very good. That was very good. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. All right, <clears throat> she has worked hard this week. Okay, all right. Now this that that is a good example, Jose Carlos Rodriguez. All right. However, this week, okay, you don't. I don't need to know. Okay, you can say she has worked hard, like this. Okay, very good. 
Miriam, okay. I have studied English at Inglés Cooperativo. I and have been sick since I was vaccinated. I have prepared dinner. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Uh, Jose Carlos Barrientos. Maria has finished uh, her food. Caesar, they haven't seen television this night. No meten la, el virus ahí. Bien. Según es el virus que nos meten, pero para que nos puedan, para que cuando si nos llega el virus, lo podamos soportar. What? I think I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, okay, I apologize for that small commercial, guys. Okay, that small ad. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that information. All right, so Marcela, I, Amanda has gone to the hospital. Good job, Marcela, that's great. She has traveled around the world. We have uh, painted the roof. You have yeah, taken welcome. a lot of pictures in the park. Good job, that is perfect. Betty, three examples, beautiful job. Elsie, Matthew has gone at the school. No, Matthew has gone to the school. Okay, preposition is wrong there. Uh, Jose, Luis has studied hard today, okay? You need to use today. You can, however, you know, we're making sure that we're just, you know, time is not relevant here, okay? Use an expression where time is not relevant, okay? Use a sentence. Jose Isaiah Cheyenne has studied his lesson. <laughs> Gabriela, today Kelsey has sung the song. Okay, Kelsey has, Kelsey has sung the song. Okay, Lisette, teacher, I apologize for being, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Karen, right? she has never been to Florida, okay, right, good job. Lillian, my sister has visited another country. All right, Maritza, uh, Manuel has the TV new. The new TV, right, if you, uh, new is an adjective in this case, right? Uh, Jose Carlos Barento Cheyenne has eaten spaghetti, okay, good job. Claudia, I have driven my car, good job. Tell me, Gabriela has been watching, has been, now, this is great, Delmi, right? Oh, Delmi, hello, Delmi. Where are you, Delmi? Oh my God, hold on, let me, I'm sorry, guys, I, I, Delmi, hello, say hello to me. Oh, oh my God, I know you, Delmi. I mean, why, why did I say that I didn't know you? <laughs> You're always in my class. Delmi is scared when you say to say hello. <laughs> She, she, okay, why? Don't be scared, okay? Tell me, all right. I'm sorry. Tell me, tell me, tell me, okay, before, I'm sorry, guys. I, I need so, to uh, so. <laughs> Say hello, Dave, all right. So tell me, <clears throat> just one thing, okay? I don't know if, the, if it is the same tell me, uh, but it says tell me here. I'm sorry, I, I had no idea. Like, for some reason, I thought your name was different. So, <clears throat> all right, um. Oh no 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 no! There, never mind. It's Dalida. I'm sleepy, huh? <laughs> never mind. Okay, it's Dalida. Not tell me. I'm so sorry. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's let's continue with the class. Okay. I, I'm I'm sleepy. See you guys. I'm sleepy, right? <laughs> so um. Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, so we had tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Who else? Claudia. I've eaten, I have eaten pupusa many much. Now, Claudia, let's correct that. You cannot say many much, okay? I have eaten pupusas too many times, okay? Too many, right? Too many times. Uh, Jose, the toxic boy hasn't slept. Jose Carlos, they have written two letters. Lillian, we have eaten China food. We have eaten Chinese food, not China food, okay? Susana, uh, Maria has walked in the main street, on the main street. My mother has written a shopping list. Coronaberto hasn't been back vaccinated. Jose Luke Castaneda has slept a little. All right. I don't know who Luke Castaneda is, right? But good job, guys. Right. Well done, guys. Okay. Well done. Okay. So now let's talk about already, guys, and yet. I, I think you understood the part, guys, of the structure of present perfect. Okay. So, guys, already and yet, guys. Uh, are adverbs, okay? Adverbs modify other adverbs, adjectives, or verbs, okay? What do they modify, guys? Everybody, what do they modify? Adjectives or verbs. 
Adjectives, adjectives verbs, and other adjectives and, and other and other adverbs. Okay, so they modify three things, but they never they never modify a noun. Okay, if we were gonna modify a noun, you're gonna modify a noun by using adjectives. Okay, adjectives modify nouns, not adverbs. Okay, so be mindful with that. Okay, all right, very good, guys. So now, um, when I say already, okay, all right. So what, when do we use already, guys? All right, according to what we have here, who would like to help me read, guys? Me. All right, hey. thank you. Okay, hey, already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. We're good, guys. Yeah, example so two. Oh, no, no, no. Just leave it there, okay? All right, guys. Okay. So we usually use it, guys, after have or has, okay? All right. So the position of already, guys, is always going to be after the auxiliary have or has. After what, guys? The auxiliary have or has. Okay. Now, I want you to remember that because it's different from yet, okay? Yet is not... We use yet at the end, okay? But but we're gonna see that, okay? So guys, when I say I we've already uh, had a breakfast, I'm talking about an action that already finished. See, I'm using already, already. See, ya estoy usando ya, all right? So now it doesn't have a translation, guys. Okay, I don't want you to trans translate it because it doesn't mean ya. Because ya in Spanish, guys, can mean ahora. Ya can mean like like ya terminé, right? I don't even know what ya is in Spanish, guys. Okay. It's so weird, right? It has so many. Ya terminé. Why is ya terminé? I have no idea. It's weird, right? Have you ever thought about the word ya in Spanish? Ya terminé. It doesn't make sense, right? Um, ready yet. <laughs> All right. It could be already and yet, okay? But in English, guys, we do have a rule for that, right? Well, in Spanish too. It's just, you know, I'm an ignorant in, in Spanish grammar. Mostly. All right. Anyway, so, um, so, so can I say, guys, we had our breakfast already. Can I use already here? Yes or no? We've had our it's breakfast correct. already. No, yes. it's not you, correct. You can use it at the end, guys. Yes, you can use already at the end too, okay? Mm -hmm. For some reason it's not there, but you can use it at the end as well. Okay, but this one, guys, okay, I want you to do not complicate your life, okay? I want you to think about it like this, okay? This is what we're gonna be looking at, okay? You're gonna use it after the auxiliary. All right, for example, okay, what kind of questions can we run into when we talk about already? Uh, Elsie, Christina, help me read, Elsie. Let's go, Elsie. What is the question? Just help me read. Help me read. What is the question? No, help me read. Just help me read. All right, very good. Somebody else help me read, guys. Meanwhile, thank you. Thank you so much. Me, me okay. teacher. Let's go, Miriam. Okay. When are you going to do your homework? But I already done it. Okay. When are you gonna do your homework? Okay. But I've already done it. Okay. Okay. So now, guys, if I say, but I've done it. Okay. Now, guys, do they mean the same, guys? If I say, but I've done it, is it the same as just as saying, I've already done it? Is it the same, yes or no? Oh, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. The reason why, guys, is because when you say already, you're specifying that you already finished that, that action, that that action is over, okay? Que ya se acabó, okay? Ya se acabó la acción. Eso es lo que está representando cuando vos dices already. Yes? All right. Very good, guys. Okay, I finished the the. the ¿cómo se llama? Terminé la, I finished the the action. The action. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, what about yet, guys? Okay, yet. What do we use yet for? Somebody help me read. Marcela Yvonne. Thank you very much, Marcela. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of the sentence. 
Repeat, repeat happened. Happened. Very good, okay. All right, guys, so this one, guys, goes at the end, right? This one cannot be used, guys, after the auxiliary. You can't say, um, you can't say he has, has he yet, you know, okay? You need to use it at the end of the sentence, okay? So, guys, do you notice something here? What is different between, in the structure, guys, what is different in the structure between when we were using already, right? The examples with already uh, versus uh, yet. It is in the yeah. end. The yeah. moment uh -huh. when you finish the, the action. All right, guys. All right, yeah, this, this is just with end questions. Of the so sentences. Is not, not ready yet, yet is at the end of the sentence. Okay. All right. The, the the difference, the main difference, guys, this is these are questions, okay? All right. So you use it, guys. You use yet with questions and negative sentences, right? Write that down, guys, okay? You use it with questions or negative sentences, right? Have you finished? Your homework. You can say, have you finished your homework already? Okay. Or you can say, you know, has have you finished your homework yet? Can we say have you finished your have you finished your homework yet? Can I say they have finished your homework yet? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. But you can say guys, have you finished your homework already? Right? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet, guys, it's just an expression, okay? You're gonna use not yet when something has not been done, but you're you're expecting to finish that action, okay? It's like saying todavía no, all right? But yet, guys, I don't want you to think that yet means todavía. Ah, all right, it doesn't mean todavía, guys. It's just very abstract, okay? Try to find the abstract meaning behind it. Okay, guys, so, all right? <clears throat> so usually, guys, these, you're gonna find these, you know, in questions and what else, guys? Questions and what else? Negative sentence. Questions and negative sentences, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Questions so far, guys. All right. Do my favor, guys. Okay. I want everybody, guys. So you're gonna work together, guys. We're gonna we're gonna play a game, guys, in the last 15 minutes, okay? But from uh, right now, guys, up until 9:45, okay? You're you're gonna create guys. Uh, you're gonna create ten sentences with already and ten sentences with yet. Got it? All right. Yes. They can be uh, and and I'm sorry, not only sentences, guys. Questions, right? They can be negative or okay, but they have to be correctly used and present perfect. All right. Do we understand? Do we all understand what we're gonna do, guys? Can you repeat, please? Yeah. Yes, you're gonna create 10 sentences in present, 10 sentences or questions, okay, sentences or questions using yet and using already. Got it? All right, very present good, guys. Yes, okay. of course, in present, yes, in present perfect, guys. In present perfect, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, very good, guys. So, uh, do that mean your homework, guys, in your, in your notebook, I'm sorry, uh, I'm working couples, okay? All right, let's go. Try to join, guys, so nobody's left alone. All right, so let's join. Hey, Lilian. I'm gonna get you someone here, Lilian, because uh, your partner didn't join. So. Thank you. 
Hi, girls. Do we understand what we're going to be working on? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yes, any questions? All good? Yes, teacher. Do you hear me example? Uh, it is sentences with already and yet. You know what? I'm going to send you the, um, hold on. I am going to be sending you the, yes, uh, will already or yet, right? So you can say, I have done my homework already. Uh, have you finished your homework yet? Or have you, have you, have you gone to the, have you come to the party uh, already? Okay, so I just wanted you to give me 10 examples with yet and 10 examples with ready, right? Okay. You have to remember that you use yet and you use, uh, use yet with questions or negative sentences and you use already, you know, with, with sentences, right? Okay, maybe so. example, I don't ready for finish my class, English class. Okay, you can, yeah, you can use I already finished my English class, you're right, okay, good job. That will be a good sentence, right? Very good. No, I don't, really. I, I've i already, I've already, yes. I, I don't, already. What do you mean I don't already? That doesn't exist, okay, so you have to ah, use. Okay, already, yes. do you use for positive sentence? Yes, you, okay, so, so if you wanted to say any negative, right? I have not finished my my homework yet so mm -hmm. you would need to use yet and you would need to use the yet at the end of the sentence got it okay so i have i have it already mm. no yeah you you can what do you mean i have it already i have it is in present i want mm -hmm. you to say a sentence in present perfect right mm -hmm. if the if uh, can you say, no estoy lista para terminar la clase? I'm not ready to finish the class yet. Yes, but, 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 okay, listen. Las oraciones que le estoy pidiendo tienen que ser en present perfect. Okay. So, if you take a look at the WhatsApp group, go to the WhatsApp group and there is the structure, right? Yes, es, eh, eh, lo estoy viendo en el, en el grupo. No Spanish. Yes, teacher. I so, see in my, in, a group, in chat group. So you can say, okay, I have finished my chores already. Or you can say, I have not finished my chores yet. Got it? Okay. All right, does that make sense? Uh, Liz, Liz, do you have a question? All good? It's okay, teacher, thanks. Clear. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, good job, girls. Um, hello, hello, teacher. Um, hey, man. Hello, teacher. Uh, I have um, finished the homework yet. Yeah, it's okay. I guess that is correct. Yeah, yeah, that, that's correct. But, but uh, um, another is like, for example, I, I will, Oh, but uh, the detail in question, right? So, for example, uh, has have you finished uh, the homework yet? Finished. Yet. Repeat. Finished. 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 Okay. Uh, has you finished the homework yet? Have you finished? Finished. Uh, have you finished? Ah, uh, have you? Ha, ah, okay, okay, okay. Have you finished the homework yet? Not yet. I still oh, no, yet, thinking right? about about the sentences of already. <laughs> okay, guys, guys. Okay, right. Okay, right. I guess you know I'm gonna go back for a little while and then. All right, guys. So, guys, I'm sorry I brought you back here again, guys, because, right? Because you're having questions. You're, you, I think you need more examples, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I didn't. 
the point was for you to find out, you know, alone, but a lot of, a lot of you are having the same issue, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you one example of each, okay? Okay, first of, good, first of all, guys, okay, already, okay? All right, so already, guys, we use this with positive, what, guys? Positive sentences, right? So the position, okay, the position goes after what, guys? Where do we place already? After the auxiliary. After the auxiliary, okay, all right? Okay, after the auxiliary, okay? Before the main verb. All right, guys, you have to, you guys are even having issues with, um, with, with the, the structure for the present perfect tenses, you know? So I have, okay, so let me give you an example, okay? So Cheyenne has finished his chores already, okay? So Cheyenne has finished, finished his chores already, okay? So see, uh, or you can say, guys, I'm sorry, right? Let's place it in the middle just because I don't want you to get confused. I told you that you can place it at the beginning or at the end, right? Which is okay. But you can, let's let's focus on just after the auxiliary because I don't want you to get confused, okay? Cheyenne has, fi has already finished his <clears throat> doors, okay? All right, positive sentence, right? So don't forget that, okay? This is a positive sentence, all right? Positive, positive, positive. Okay, negative sentences, guys, okay? Cheyenne has not finished his chores yet. When you, if you wanna say the same sentence, guys, but in negative form, you have to use yet. And yet can only be placed at the end, okay? So yet, guys, yet, unlike already, which can be placed, you know, after the auxiliary or at the end of the sentence, this one can only be placed at the end. It can be placed only when, where, guys? We use negative. At the end, guys, at the end, okay? Also, guys, okay, yet. No chat. Yet is also used, guys, used for questions, okay? All right. So you can say, you know, um, has Cheyenne uh, finished, okay, has Cheyenne finished his chores yet, okay? So you can use them at, at the end of the sentence too, right? Um, you can use them for questions, okay? All right, now guys, okay, is that, does that make sense, guys? So basically, guys, the main difference here is that, all right, uh, remember these two things, okay? Yet for negative, already for positives. Yet and positive, guys, for questions, all right? Did that make sense, guys, or do you want me to give you another example? I have already drunk with coffee. I've already gone what? I have already drunk with coffee. Okay, coffee. I have already drunk uh, three, three cups of coffee, okay? It's All right, very good. Coffee. All right, very good. Now, guys, now, do you, do you need me to give you another example, guys, or are we good? What do you think? All right, I am good, sir. Okay. We are good, we are good. All right, so, all right. So the doctor is talking on behalf of everybody else. All right, yeah, very good. Uh, it's clear now. It's clear now. All right, very good, guys. Okay, you're right. So let's get to work then. Please join, guys, so, you know, people are not left working alone, okay? Uh, okay, okay, este, this, with this uh, exp explanation, is explication, explanation. Yes. With this explanation, yeah. I, I understand more uh, 
Uh, I give I give you Cesar an example of a question. For example, has you have you finished your your work yet? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. And, uh, uh, what is your what is your answer? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Have okay. you finished your work yet? yet? No, yet. Have you finished your work yet? Is Apple the is not have already arrived? Question. Is Apple. Podría ser, baby, eso es una pregunta. What? The snow has already arrived. The what, I'm sorry? Eh, the salt has already arrived. I'm not understanding what you're saying. Um, you mean, has already arrived. Si, si la nieve ha llegado. Has, okay, so, oh, has it already started snowing? That's how you would say, has it already start, has it already started snowing? Okay. Ah, has, right. it, has it already started snowing? Okay. Uh, thank you, David. All right. Yeah, I, I, um, um No, I'm sorry, Betty. I didn't know that you were alone. Yes, I mean, is gone. yes, I think she had some, you know, some issues with her internet. Um, I'm gonna get you together with somebody else then. Okay, hold on. Me now. Yes. Okay. You have a problem with the internet, right? Yes. I'm sorry. Real, real thing. Already? Uh huh. But this is a structure. Uh, es como la explicación de uh, cuando lo, lo ocupas. No Spanish, no Spanish, mm. girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, 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 no, 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 his job okay my example is i lots lot my cave my cave okay. i lost I lost my So how are we doing here? Hello, baby. <laughs> Hello, tell me. You good? Any questions? Everything good? Uh, in this moment, uh, uh, me hago. <laughs> in this moment, what? In this moment, I... <laughs> How do you say? I'm doing them. I'm doing them right now. I'm doing right now. 
I'm working on it. That's how you say I'm working on it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. If you need any help, let me know. Teacher, how uh, many exercises were they going to do? Ten and ten. Ah, okay. Right, very good. <laughs> All good now, girls? Don't I think you. Oh, you're having fun. I like that. <laughs> you good? Um, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, for the very uh, go. Uh, this is gone or when? I don't know. Remember. Gone. Gone. Uh, yes, gone with uh, double n. With <clears throat> double. No, no, no. Just gone with one n. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Any other question, girls? So good. All right. We're good. <laughs> Sounds good, Dad. Hmm. Right. Uh, um, teacher, a uh, question. <coughs> Tell me. Is that correct? He has already run his race. He has, has he already? Has he already? It's affirmative. He has already run oh. the okay he has already yeah he has already run run his race yes you can say he has already run his race yes yes mm -hmm. teacher okay, david tell me uh, it's correct uh, what what is the form correct found of phone encontrar found but that's in the past okay or, or past participle found okay found yeah pronunciation is found mm -hmm. um, okay. Send. All right. no problemo thanks to you teacher what is the difference between found and looking look for the buscar uh -huh. No, look is to look. This is to look. Look for is to 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 buscar. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So find is when you already found something. Okay. Encontrar, buscar. Got it. It's different. Okay. okay. And the, the the word is look for, not look. Okay. Look is to mirar. Right. Look Anyways, guys. Is, so, huh? Look for is buscar. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. We're gonna go back now, guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna wait for everybody to come back again. All right, so I guess, I guess, guys, that everybody was still working on this. So finish it home if you can, right? Uh, I mean, we're gonna have, you can finish it tomorrow, guys. We can, we can go ahead and finish this tomorrow. Uh, we didn't have time, guys. I, I thought, you know, that we were a little bit more advanced in this topic. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to keep reinforcing this. I, I still need to check on your examples. And uh, we're going to play the game tomorrow, okay? We're not going to play it today, today because we didn't, we ran out of time. So so we're going to have to just reschedule that for, for tomorrow. Now, um, I have do you a have question. any questions? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, about the, uh, for example, when when you have a decision, for example, we use made or take. What do you mean? But, but for example, I, I don't know that is correct. The uh, you can, I mean, you're gonna say you can say I'm gonna make I'm gonna take a decision. Take. It's it's correct. Take a decision. Yes. Uh, you can also say for make example, a decision. What? I mean. uh, okay, you but uh, okay, okay. Yes, but when you say take a decision is. You're, you, you know, mostly I, what I understand, right? It's like you are already presented by like uh, options, you know, I'm going to take a decision once I, I make up my mind, right? When I make a decision. So if you have options already, like if you're choosing among um, multiple options, you know, you're going to just take 
if you're not choosing among multiple options, then it's better to use. I'm gonna make a decision. You know, I'm gonna make up my mind. All right, that's that's another phrase that you can you can use if you want. All right. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, uh, listen. Um, we're gonna finish, guys. Uh, this tomorrow, guys. Um, that's it. I think that you did an amazing job, guys. Please, guys, finish. Work on the platform, right? Be early tomorrow, guys. Okay, we only have one more week, guys. Uh, too many people are missing, guys, okay, because we're usually, we started, like, with 29, guys, okay, we're down to 19, well, 18 right now, so I have no idea what happened to the, everybody else during the breakout sessions, but, but anyways, okay, thank you so much for coming, guys. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. You just sleep, baby. Take care, yes. Oh, good night. And we'll sleep. Good night. Thank you. Bye.